Naming the look of your websites, apps, or tools is a key to grab consumers' attention, but you can't afford to prioritize form at the expense of function. According to reports, 48% of consumers consider design to be a key factor when determining a company's credibility. And this expands beyond surface detail. You know, a product has to deliver the most practical user-friendly performance that a team is capable of in order to uh, make the biggest uh, impact in the market. This means that investing time, resources, and money into an effective UI UX design process is very important. Hello folks, I'm Sukriti, your host, and I'm here with a guest to talk about how UX and UI design plays a very pivotal role in adding value to a business, especially in the post-pandemic era. Guys, I'm delighted to have Nirali Parikh, the founder and creative director of BookApp Design. She's the driving force behind BookApp's philosophy of solving complexities through design. Welcome to the show, Nirali. I'm so excited to have you here with me. Thank you, Sukriti. It is my pleasure to be here and excited to be on the platform uh, where you've spoken to so many people in the technology space before me. So thank you for inviting me. Kunal, tell me what is UX and UI and what are the shifts or changes you've seen in the patterns of uh, UX and UI in the post-pandemic era? Um, so, you know, to begin with, um, I'd like to explain what UX and UI is. And the, the best way that I explain it to my clients who often don't know really what the industry is like. So I like to explain it in terms of the architecture of a house. UX or user experience is like, is like laying out the floor plan for a home. It involves understanding the homeowner, their habits and personalities, figuring out a neat, easy to navigate layout, the number of rooms needed, the function of each space and all the other practical considerations before a house is even built. You know, it's the floor plan. UI, on the other hand, is user interface. This is like deciding the home's aesthetics and applying the decisions to the rooms and the finishes and making the house look good and giving it a personality. So in tech uh, talk, this means the look and feel of a website or an app or a product. This is really when the product comes to life, even before um, anything is coded. Uh, now, post pandemic, what has happened as everyone is very familiar with everybody's lives are turned upside down. You know, whatever we were used to doing in the physical world, going to a shop, you know, buying groceries, buying clothes, even buying any basics was not happening the way we were used to doing things. So people adapted their lives to feel social and connected by adopting new and existing technology technologies. So as a result, technology became an integral part of many decisions users make daily in across different age groups. So with this increased tech dependency, companies, uh, you know, started uh, new startups came up, uh, existing companies started adopting more and more tech products. And this uh, ensured that there was a tremendous opportunity to include UX UI designers as part of the core team of building the app. Uh, now, why did uh, UX UI designers become a part of uh, any core team? Because the primary purpose of UX UI is to simplify complexities in products and suggest user-friendly product designs. So the value generated through user-focused designs has a direct impact on the ROI. Um, so uh, you know, users have a positive experience with your product. They're more likely to convert into paid customers. Uh, in addition, they're likely to transact on your product, recommend your product, uh, and make their work and processes more efficient if it is a B2B tech platform. So because UX UI designers are very user focused, they do a lot of research uh, from on how a user behaves, what are their thought patterns, uh, what are they thinking when they're making decisions and how they navigate through products. And these are the decisions and the research that they apply to their designs. You know, you really see a value in, in uh, you know, bringing that kind of thought into any product. All right. Uh, so, you know, these were the basics of uh, UX and UI that you explained, Nirali. Help us understand what is the difference between the two. Okay, so to put it simply, UX is research and strategy driven. In this process, the UX team gets to know the users, their needs, their problems, and understands the competition. Uh, if you can go much, much, you can go as deep as needed based on, of course, the requirement of the product, the budgets associated with the product, 
uh, how new the product is into the market to understand the users. Uh, now, using this knowledge, designers then identify opportunities and draw out the product's floor plan, like I explained earlier. Finally, they simply simplify just about everything, allowing a user to move effortlessly through a website or a product. So, for example, if it's a shop, if it's shopping, the journey would be a breeze right from browsing, uh, browsing for a product to adding the product to the cart and then making the purchase as simple as possible. There would be no part of this journey where a user would feel lost, that they, they can't find something that they're looking for. They would have some, even if they were to have an error, that error would be, uh, you know, sort of dealt with in a, in a way that would uh, make the user feel less like they have failed in their transaction. Uh, UI design is creating the look and feel of a website or a product. So the aesthetic details get finalized here, which includes the fonts, colors, illustrations, um, you know, and all the other factors that get added on as a layer, almost like a cosmetic layer, but also after much thought, because we, every, you know, every color has a meaning behind it. Every illustration needs to match uh, the brand guideline and the personality of the brand. Uh, the font needs to make sense. It needs to be legible. So after the UX, this comes into play to help draw potential users to the specific business platform. UI designers know how design elements such as typography, colors, photos, or illustrations, and possibly motion graphics impact the user's psychology. So like I was saying, every color has a meaning. Uh, every color impacts the psychological decisions that a user makes, uh, you know, to, to kind of simplify the whole thing. So uh, what UI designers do is they ensure that there is a clear and unique visual direction for the product that would set it apart from its competitors and create an emotional hook for the users to continue using the product and finally make decisions on your product as well. Okay, so those were the differences that you spoke. Uh, now help us understand where do you see uh, both of them being implemented in the market? Let's talk about the placements that happen and how it happens. So UX actually, or whether people recognize it or not, because it is user experience, it's, it goes even beyond tech products. Uh, ultimately, it is about the user having a positive, error-free, effortless experience. It's almost intuitive and natural in whatever they are engage, engaging with. So this could be, uh, for example, a visit to a hospital and finding their way around to get to a particular room by following signs, interacting with the staff, using the elevator. Basically, every touch point at the hospital becomes a part of the user experience. Similarly, in digital experiences, uh, an example, the, the easiest example would be ordering food on an app. How easily could you find a restaurant with the cuisines that you wanted in your area? Were you able to find their menu easily? Were you able to pick the dishes you wanted easily? Were you able to add your address? And finally, were you able to uh, you know, check out easily and order uh, whatever it is that you were looking for easily. All the other decisions mu uh, must be made from start to end. So including the, so all the decisions even made beyond the ordering of the uh, food on an app, which could mean the final delivery of the food itself, how it was presented. All of this comes under the umbrella of user experience because ultimately it is a brand that gets impacted if the experience is negative in any part of this process. Uh, UI is implemented on any interface a user interacts with. So again, it's not restricted to only a phone or a computer or a smartwatch. It could be the interface of an elevator. It could be the main interface on a Tesla car. Uh, you know, now that you know, cars in general, which are you know, which have more digital interfaces, and most commonly, of course, like I said, interface of an app. UI enables users to connect with the apps. Like I mentioned earlier, colors, fonts, and images create an emotional engagement. Things like the appropriate spacings, alignment of elements, aid in better decision making. Uh, the overall interface is organized or easy to decipher, and that's really why, um, why UI is really relevant in any interface that you see. All right. So we've spoken about, uh, you know, the implementations, what it means, the differences. Uh, now comes a very crucial point, uh, Dirali, which we spoke of, which I actually kicked off the conversation with, that how it's actually impacting the consumers, how, you know, UI UX impacts the final consumer and uh, how is it consumed and the kind of decision making that, that comes into the picture. 
how will, how does it happen sure so i mean of course you know, first impressions make a lasting impression so if you face challenges in any of the two examples i gave earlier whether it was a hospital visit or buying uh, you know food on an app uh, you would have left the place or a product with a negative experience uh, most important, importantly critical decisions can take time or may not even happen efficiently if the experience is designed poorly uh, for example uh, you know i'll give you I'll put it in kind of a example I imagine you have downloaded an app to help you monitor your vitals this app has an sos button which you can press to call an ambulance when a situation has been observed that you think is critical if the ux and the ui of the app was poorly designed you would not be able to find the sos button or uh, you know imagine you would not be able to click uh, on it quickly or imagine it would like it's a matter of life and death uh, so you want to be able to find these uh, important call to actions very easily and on the contrary if the sos button was so easily accessible you could even click on it by accident and the ambulance would be like at your at your doorstep so it's very important that every decision that go, what goes where how the user can access it how will the app look so it is not overwhelming uh, takes a lot of research a uh, lot of inquir inquiry a lot of iterations and testing to ensure that once it's out in the world for the consumers to use it is as error free as possible uh, it is user friendly uh, so you the consumer can have a positive experience in every decision every interaction and every action that you need to make on any product and i've given a very you know as critical an example as possible that is healthcare but this applies across the board all right so those were some important tips uh, anirali now it comes uh, you know the the force behind uh, ui ux and people who work so tell me why is ui ux important for developers and businesses so for developers uh, how ux ui designers uh, become uh, very integral is they um, so ux ui designers have gone through a journey of understanding the users creating wireframes or uh, you know through the entire process of course developers are also uh, involved in most cases and if they are not they should be involved because they bring in a different perspective as well while the designs are being created they are able to negate certain tech challenges that may come up you know in in the design desi decisions that we are making but the ux ui designer has gone through uh, you know the iterations got negated certain uh decisions that are, they have made that would not work for various reasons they have created the final designs they've created actual prototypes so what we call as prototypes is uh something that's not coded but a user can actually click on it and get a sense of what the product would work how it would work and what it would look like before even it is coded so the developers get a first hand knowledge of saying okay on this page this is what i need to code these are the functions on the page well, you know and they can plan they can they, uh, better plan their entire roadmap and development plan and essentially they get complete clarity um, and and in, what happens with that is they are spending less time in uh, making iterations i'm not saying that it is always this effortless because there are times that you know when you're working for a startup things pivot things change very often and you know those things do happen but for the most part then the development process is very seamless where you're not making decisions at this stage the decisions have already been made and uh, you know um, in general from a business point of view uh, what the business is what the company is getting is a user focused design so the primary purpose of ux ui design process is to simplify tasks and create an easy navigational experience so given this focus user habits and satisfaction are the main priorities which in turn helps cement the reputation of the business and the reliability of the product and that inevitably leads to more business uh ux ui designers due to the better user experience that they are providing to the app or a product also help in retaining users so the users will keep coming back leading to greater loyalty over time and most importantly creates product differentiation so this is the best way in which you can uh you know differentiate between a zomato and a swiggy for example or you know even for that uh, you know uh, for any any product which have competing uh, businesses in the same space 
Really, I must say you've wonderfully crafted out uh, the insights for us. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, clearly design is, you know, is something that improves revenues, customer retention, satisfaction, and uh, loyalty in the end that you spoke of. So it was it was such a fantastic conversation and uh, some amazing uh, understanding of UI UX you've shared with us, Rally. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Supriti. It is my pleasure. Audience, I hope you enjoyed learning more about UX and UI, and I hope you'll be able to implement uh, the insights that Rally has just shared with us. Please stay tuned to TechGate for all the latest update. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm signing off. Thank you so much for joining us.